Hello. Um, I'm now in the process of making the final assembly of my new tailstock that I fitted on the Tag lathe. Um, I've uh, I've cleaned the blocks up and um, I've put chamfers on uh, on the blocks and. Uh, uh, finished them off so they look uh, presentable. Um, uh, I'm now in the process of uh, aligning up the horizontal bar along here so that it is in both planes, in the vertical and in the horizontal plane, the bar is exactly parallel with the lathe bed. And what I'm doing is I'm using a, uh, a, a small, I think it's a four inch uh, Starrett um, uh, uh, scribing block and um, it comes there's uh, an accessory that comes with it which is a little bridge that fits around and you can slide it backwards and forwards and it enables you to uh, place the um, uh, the scribing block and and actually come up to a straight edge now the lathe bed obviously is is very accurate and um, and so I'm going to use the lathe bed which is the best possible way I would imagine unless you have uh, other equipment more expensive equipment um, and uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to, um, I can't run it all the way along, uh, it's not necessary anyway. Um, I know that the bar is parallel and there's no bend on it. So what I'm doing first of all is to um, uh, to check the, the height. And uh, you can't see it from there, but or you may be able to. When I pull the block away it actually rides over the high spot and then it settles on a position where this bridge is um, and then what I do is I zero the the dial and very very carefully I'm gonna slide that away and I'm gonna move it over to this side this end of the lathe and very carefully uh, make sure it's nice and flat and there's nothing underneath and then I'm going to do the same thing here and come up to the to the edge and it's some um, it looks as though it's uh, a one and a half thou difference um, I could probably, uh, uh, well I think maybe I will, uh, just to be on the safe side, I'll double check at this end again, just to make sure that nothing has moved, and that is right on zero, there, and so I'll take it off, put it over here, and do the same here and it's 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 probably a quarter thou difference so I'm gonna leave that um, I've done this previous to the to the video uh, just so that I didn't have to play around too much so that looks good it's zero here and it's zero here so that's fairly good I would say um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the the parallel uh, to make sure that it's not twisted that way uh, so I'm going to just pull the dial back and I'll move the stylus and move it a little bit more until I get a reading now I got a reading so I'm gonna 
but it's right down at the at the bottom. I'm going to back it off so that the needle moves and then I'm going to bring it up to the zero and make sure that it zeroes at each time. Now I'm going to take it down this end and I'm going to try it at this end and it's it's probably I would say it's probably a thou difference um, now uh, um, I don't know what I can do about that I mean I'm not really worried about it um, because when you're turning between senders um, I'm I'm able to move the tailstock itself out or in to compensate for that. Um, it was the top it was the top dimension that I was really concerned about, uh, so that it was parallel right the way along. Um, the um, uh, I have a, a mic micrometer. Uh, thimble here so I can move I can move the tailstock in or out very very finely um, if I'm doing anything that's too serious if I'm just drilling I'm not even going to worry about uh, a thou difference between that end and this end uh, it's just normal drilling anyway um, if you're drilling on the on the lathe if it's important then you bore you drill and bore anyway so so I'm gonna leave that at, as it is um, I think that's I think that's pretty good um, everything is within at least a thousandth of an inch and uh, so we'll leave that at that I'm gonna switch the camera off now because I'm the next thing I'm gonna do is to I'm going to set up the tailstock on here and then I have to um, adjust it and see uh, how things come out when I um, hold the uh, dial indicator in the spindle and revolve it around the, the tailstock uh, and see how that goes. Uh, so I'm going to turn off now and I'll continue on later on uh, with this video um, okay